Hi and welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking about what review I was going to do next and realized that I haven't done any drugstore reviews. So today I will be doing a review on NYX. A lot of people have been talking about it that I've seen and pe people say that they're good products and so I'm so why not try them out. So I have been wearing, been trying the lip liner and a bl the blush. Now I do have more than one lip liner and blush but I'm not going to go through like all of them. Just because they all work the same. Um, so I want to talk about the blush versus, versus the powder blush in the color Dusty Rose. And they are like $7 or $6 in Target. I ordered mine online and they happen to have a sale. So I got mine for $2.50. I don't know if the sale is still going on. But um, I will check it out and link it below and let you guys know. Now, the, the the good about this is that it's not, like, rainy or anything like that. It's very finely mill milled. Um, when I put it on, it didn't seem to be too bad um, when it came to applying. But the downfall about this is, is that it's not very pigmented at all. Um, I know that a lot of people will say, oh, it's dupes for, for some of the other blushes out there on higher ends. Maybe some of the colors are similar, but the product itself is nowhere near any of the high-end products out there that I've tried for blushes. Um, they have a lot of beautiful colors, and that is what kind of made me go through. And I ended up ordering like six, but one of them came to me broke. I never contacted the company. I just didn't feel like hassling with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to at this point in time. But the shipping did not seem to take very long at all, so they were pretty quick. Um, so for, I would just say that if this is something that you're not looking for, a humongous, like, an appearance, if you want to go very subtle, very natural, natural, not only not telling you're wearing it, then I would say this is the blush to go. I also think this is great for people who are just starting out, for like, younger children who are starting out in their makeup and learning how heavy they should be going with their hands and where they should go with it and etc. So for me... I have it, and since I invested the money, I will use it. I'm not going to not use it, just because I did spend the money in it. So I bought my nails. I have not gotten them done yet. But um, for me, I will not be repurchasing any of the next blushes. Just for me, I just, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with them. I feel that there are other drugstore products out there that cost just as much as this. When you go to, like, I know that it's in Target. When you go to Target and you buy it for the 6 or $7, that is a little more better quality. So for me, this is an, a bust. It's just I'm not going to repurchase it. But like I said, I will use it just because I did buy it. I just don't know how often I will reach for it. But like I said, the colors are beautiful. They're not horrible. But it's just not pigmented enough for me. Now, to move on to the lip liner. I got it in New Truffle. I did get five other ones. They had, and these were $3.50. They had a thing that if you buy a certain amount, you get free shipping. Shipping is about the cost of a couple of the products already, so I wouldn't have bought it. Um, I would say that I am actually wearing this right now underneath my lipstick. Um, and I'm going to say saying that for me, I'm impressed with the quality of the lip liners. This is just a pencil one. You have to sharpen it. I said it was like $3.50 online. It was not on sale. Um, the what got me to order online to begin with was the fact that my local Target is always sold out of this stuff. So I never really got the real chance to try it. So that's why I ordered online. I will mention though that a lot of um, that these are cruelty, cruelty free, which is a humongous bonus. Um, and I know that a lot of people love that. I I do too. I would like to say I practice and find all my makeup that's cr cruelty free, but I don't. But I I do like the fact that they do that. Um, but yes, this is it's quite creamy. So if you like. The creaminess of one and it collides on really well then I would definitely say this is for you 
and it's a great, great uh, way to save some money because I have lip liners that I have spent like from like Mac and stuff that are like 17, 20 bucks and they're not as creamy as this. And I would hate to say that because I love my Mac lip, liner, lip liners, but for the price in this, I would definitely say that it's worth it. I, um, if you can find your dupes between those companies that you really do love and, you know, this is, I would say definitely this is a great lip liner to try and, and explore because I do have a decent amount of colors to be able to play with and have fun. So yeah, so that is my thoughts and my, my opinions on it. Uh, if you guys have tried either one of these products or other products, I um, please share with me. I love to hear you guys' opinions and know what you guys think because I, you know, I'm always open to it. And if there's any products that you guys want to try and that you don't want to spend the money on it or uh, are just wondering, please comment below and I will do my best to make that happen. Um, so thank you. Like always, if you have not subscribed, please do. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I appreciate all you guys, and I love you, and thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video.